Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to make a video talking about why eating healthy can be very unhealthy and very risky. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've been experiencing some health problems in the last few months and I've been whole food, plant-based vegan for a year and four months. And there's a lot of reasons why I'm experiencing health issues now. What are the health issues that I'm experiencing now? Well, if you've seen my channel, then you know that I've been experiencing one, a B12 deficiency. Two, uh, now I'm experiencing hypothyroidism. And three, I guess you could call it another health problem, uh, is low vitamin D. And there's a reason why these things have come up. Um, maybe not necessarily the uh, thyroid, but I think that um, in terms of B12 and vitamin D, there's a reason why I've become deficient. And the reason is because I've been eating super healthy. Now, that may not make sense to you, but if you're watching this video, you may... You may get it. Um, so when you eat whole foods and you're not eating processed foods, you're not getting a lot of the supplements that are usually in those processed foods. Now, for example, let me show you, uh, my mom drinks these, uh, you know, those vitamin waters. And just for example, I was looking at the label and inside of it, it has, let's see, I don't know if you can see it, but it has vitamin A, calcium, niacin, vitamin B12, vitamin C, E, B6, pantothenic acid, and magnesium all supplemented in, into it. And that's pretty common in a lot of in a lot of foods. Um, let's look at these Cheerios. Um, in these Cheerios, in these Cheerios, there is all these, and you won't be able to read it because it might be backwards, I think. But there's all these supplements added to it, and. Once again, there's vitamin D and B12 added to these foods. Now, why is this happening? Why are we supplementing in processed foods? The reason why we're supplementing is because most people are getting deficient in those all the time. Now, like me, um, I'm gonna go outside. Like me, um, if you're eating if you're eating a lot of non non processed foods, then you're not going to be getting those supplements unless you're taking those supplements um, as they are. Or um, for for vitamin D, you can get the sun, and that's a good way to get it. But if you live in a certain longitude, like I live in Washington, and so first off, the sun's not out that much, and and so it's just hard to get consistent vitamin D levels year round. And so during the winter, most people get deficient unless you're supplementing. And, and when the sun is out, it's, I mean, we're at a longitude where it's not, you're not gonna get that much anyways. And so it's really important to, to think about this because if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, but you're not, getting certain nutrients um, because you're not eating fortified foods, then you're probably gonna get deficient. And yeah, so uh, I didn't take a B12 supplement for consistently at all for a year and a couple months and and I became pretty deficient. I My levels were at 137 and I've developed symptoms and it's not fun. And if you've seen my videos before, you know that. But I just wanted to talk, talk about like why, why it happens. And it's because when you try to eat so clean and so healthy, you, Duncan. 
when you try to eat so clean and so healthy, um, which is good, uh, but at the same time, you're cutting out supplements that you probably need. And so I, you have to kind of get over the fact that being vegan is not going to seem natural because you're going to have to supplement certain things um, like B12 and maybe vitamin D. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about that. It's kind of interesting how when you think about it, you're eating the healthiest diet that you can possibly eat, but you have to supplement and it seems unnatural. So you don't supplement, but then things can happen and it's not good. So just fair warning, if you're going to get into eating a healthy, whole food, plant-based diet, make sure you know what your vitamin B12 levels are and make sure you know what your vitamin D levels are and um, make sure you're eating the foods that you need to eat um, to get all the nutrients that you need because you don't want to get deficient and it's kind of like a fun a fun game to not get deficient and I'm not saying that it's it's super easy to get deficient in, in other vitamins um, but you know if you're on this lifestyle if you're trying to eat healthy then you might as well just get your blood checked anyways and if you're good then you're good if if you have some things to work on then you know work on those things and supplement with those so I just want to make this video hope this helps um, I will keep updating you guys on my recovery or um, experience with B12 deficiency and hypothyroid um, yeah today numbness has been increased not increased but strong and I just injected myself in the butt with um, <laughs> with uh, B12 and I took um, ramping up the dose of oral um, B12 I took 10 milligrams orally those uh, good sprays the organic the organic kind kind organic I don't know what the name is um, but that spray so that's kind of an update not feeling super amazing energy is good um, yeah I'll make another video about that though so all right just want to make this video peace